Hey guys, it's Kat, and today I thought I would finally get to showing you how to make the little flower sandals that I have on YouTube for three to six months. Um, I would make them in different sizes. This one is the zero to three months. Um, it is the sole is about three, a little under three and a half inches, about three and a half inches long. Um, and if you want to make it a newborn size, you just use a smaller hook. So let me show you what you guys are going to need to make these little cuties. Okay, so what you guys are going to need to make your little flower sandals is a worsted weight yarn of your choice. It's a medium weight yarn with that on there. <clears throat> um, in the same color and two different colors, I'm going to make the 0 to 3 or the newborn size. Um, with the gray sole, just so I kind of know the um, what's what size is what. Um, you're gonna need a if you're gonna do the zero to three months, you're gonna need an e hook, which is three point five. And if you want to do um, a newborn size, I would suggest doing the size D hook. And you're just gonna need a um, tapestry needle to help weave in your ends. So this is how you start. You're going to chain 11, and chain is like so. You kind of go over the top like this, where you have like a crisscross, and you go up through the top here. You catch your yarn, and you, whoop, you catch your yarn, and you pull it through. So you made yourself a slip knot, and you're gonna chain 11. So you're just going to yarn over and you're going to pull through. You're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through. So you're going to make 11. So that was 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I don't know what side I need to have the yarn on. Okay. Um, and then the next thing is you're going to do two half double crochets. Two half double crochets in the second chain from your hook. So you're not going to do it in this one. You're going to do it in this one. And a half double crochet is yarn over. You're going to insert your hook. You're going to yarn over. You're going to pull through. You're going to yarn over. And you're going to pull through all three loops. And you're going to do that again. So yarn over in the same stitch or chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. And that's a half double crochet. And then you're going to do six half double crochet up your chain here. One, two, three. Four, five. I'm sorry, you're gonna do eight half double crochet. Eight half double crochet. So that was six, seven, and eight. And then you're gonna do six half double crochet in this last chain that you have. So what I do is I do three on one side of the knot, and then I do three on the other side of the side of the knot. So I'm like so. I do one. I'm losing my voice. Just with my voice. Two. Three. And then I'm going to yarn over like I'm going to do another one. Insert my hook. But I move the knot over. So now I'm working pretty much like on the other side. And then you're going to do three more half double crochets. There's one. There's two and three. And then you're going to work eight half double crochets on the other side of your chain. So when you yarn over, you go into the spot where it kind of looks like it crisscrosses, and you have literally a little spot to go in. 
right there. So you're gonna do eight, so that was two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you're gonna do two half double crochets in this last one here. So one, and two, and you're gonna single, not single, you're gonna slip stitch it to your very first um, stitch that you made. So you insert your hook, yarn over, you pull through, and you pull through, and that was a slip stitch, and you chain one. You are going to do two single crochets in the first two stitches. So you insert your hook in the same stitch you just finished in, you yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through. Then you're going to do that one more time in that same stitch, so insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So that was a single crochet and you're going to do the two single crochet in the next one again. And I'm a pretty tight crocheter, so sometimes I have a rough time. And then you're going to do five single crochet down the line here. One, two, three, four, five. You're going to do three half double crochets <clears throat> down the line. So yarn over, insert your hook yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three. So that was one, two, and three. And now you're going to do a set of double crochets. You're going to do two double crochets in the next six stitches. So a double crochet is like this. You yarn over, you insert your hook, you yarn over, you pull up a loop, you yarn over, you only pull through the first two loops, you yarn over, and then you pull through the rest of the two loops. And you're going to do that one more time in that same stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook, <clears throat> yarn over, and pull up a loop, you yarn over, pull through two, you yarn over, pull through the other two. So you did one set now, you need to do five more. Five. And six. So you did two double crochets in six of the stitches, so it should look like this so far. Okay, and then you're going to do another three half double crochet down the line. One. two, three, and if I'm going too fast for you, you guys can always um, pause the video, catch up, and then press play again. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me, and so the next step is you're going to do five single crochets down the line. One, two, three, four, and just like in the beginning, you're going to do two single crochet in the last two stitches you have here. So one, two in the same stitch, and then one and two single crochet in the last stitch, and you're going to slip stitch it to your very first stitch here again. And chain one. Now we're going to do one more last round. <clears throat> Excuse me. And in this one, you're going to do um, a single crochet in two stitches. So again, you go into the same um, stitch you just ended in, and you do a single crochet. Then you do a single crochet in your next stitch. And then you're going to do a series of half double crochet. You're going to do two half double crochet in the next three stitches. So 
So let's do one, two, and one stitch. One, two, in the next stitch, and one, two, in the third stitch. And now you're going to do um, five half double crochet up the heel or up the shoe here. So five of those. Here's one, two, three, four, and five. So you did five half double crochet up the line. You're going to do three double crochet in the next sti three stitches. So double crochet in one, double crochet in the next, and then a double crochet in the third stitch. Now the next step is you're going to do another series of double crochets, but you're going to do it this way. You're going to do two half double crochets in the first stitch and one double crochet in the next stitch. Two double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch. So two, one, two, one, and you're going to repeat that six times. So again, you're going to do two in your next stitch, two double crochet. Then you're going to do a single double crochet in the next stitch. So that was one time. You're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch, and one single crochet in the next one. So that was a set of one, a set of two. You need to do four more of those, and six. Okay, so it should look like this. Now you're going to do three double crochets down the line. So there's one, two, three. Then you're going to do five half double crochets down the line here. One, four, five. And then you're going to do uh, two half double crochets in the last three stitches you have. So two half double crochets in the next stitch. Okay, and then you're going to slip stitch it to your very first stitch that you made here. Now, you're going to have to make four of these. I usually do make two like this, and then I tie it off, and I cut the ends, and I weave in my ends. And then I make um, one just like this. And I take my other one and I put them together and I slip stitch it all around so I don't tie it off because then you're gonna have extra stuff to tie off except for except for this one of course you're gonna have to tie that off here so then you're gonna slip stitch it so what I do is I chain one and then I align my my shoe here and I'm going to slip stitch it all the way around, but first I'm going to weave in my tail here. Okay, so you're going to slip stitch it all around, so um, insert your hook, and then you got to find like the matching space so you have it even around. That looks about right to me. You're going to um, grab your yarn. <laughs> my brain's stopping. And you're going to pull through and then you're going to pull through. So again you're going to insert your hook in the next stitch and then the next one. You're going to yarn over, you're going to pull up a loop and then you're going to pull through that. Again, insert your hook, insert your hook, 
yarn over, pull through, and pull through. And you do that all the way around your shoe. Okay, so you weaved all the way around, or you slip stitched all the way around. And then you just um, tie it off and um, weave in your ends. Now this is how I do it. This part to me is the bottom part. It's like the flat part. This part to me is what I would put the baby's foot on. So what I do is I weave in my ends up here because your heel part that we're going to do next is going to cover that up and no one's ever going to see it. Um, so I would weave in my ends back here and then of course you're going to have to make four soles to make two um, four soles to make two soles um, unless you want it um, kind of flimsy bit um, I like I like it to be a little bit more durable so you're gonna need four soles to make two soles and then um, grab another color yarn and I'll show you how to do the top here and again remember if you're doing the zero to three you're going to want your e-hook, the 3.5, but if you're going to do the newborns, I suggest using like a d-hook or smaller depending on the baby's foot. Every baby's different, so I'm trying to do it um, so it kind of fits, you know, 0 to 3, 3 to 6, 6 to 9. The one that I did for 3 to 6 months, um, everybody says it seems to fit a little big, so I suggest using maybe just a smaller hook than I did. Like again, I'm a tight crocheter, so my stuff tends to be a little bit smaller than other people's. So um, grab your other worsted weight yarn and let me show you how to make the top part here and the little flip flop part here and the flower. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, so to do um, this part around the heel and the rest of this part, you're gonna again use your um, E hook or if you're doing the newborn size, you're going to use your D hook. You're going to um, need a couple buttons, teeny tiny buttons, to fill the um, to use for the buttonholes, and I make two of them. And then if you want a little um, accessory for your flower, you don't have to put anything on the flower. I just do. Um, I just thinks it thinks I thinks it. I think it gives it just a little bit more um, flair, cuteness, or whatever sparkle. So, um, and a, a tapestry needle to weave in your ends, of course. So then you get your choice of yarn, your color yarn for the rest of you, the rest of the shoe. For this one, I picked white. And I'm going to show you um, how to do your, this is the left, the right, because um, a lot of you guys had questions on how to start the right foot. So, um, what you're going to need, what you're going to do is you're going to have 18 half double crochets around here and where you're going to start is kind of um, right here where the heel starts and what I do is I go through the top here and through the two through the two stitches here so like so So you still have your sole and you're just working off um, on the top stitches that are around here. And you're going to count 18. So this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So you're going to, you always want to end up pretty much the same, you know, where you start. You want it to be um, pretty equal. So you're going to do 18 all around. So again, you're going to insert your hook from the top down. And the bottom of the sole is what looks more flat. And the top of the shoe is what looks more puffy. So you insert your hook. You pull your yarn through. And you chain, you chain one. And in that same chain, you're going to do a half double crochet, so yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through. And you're going to do 18. So that was one, two, 
two. And this gets a little bit tricky sometimes. Three. Okay, so do that all the way around so you have 18 half double crochets. Okay, so once you've done your 11 HDC around, not 11, 18 half double crochets around, you're going to chain one, you're going to turn your work, you're going to half double crochet till you get to the center of your heel, and you're going to half double crochet two stitches together, and then you're going to half double crochet the rest. So let me show you how you do a half double crochet. Okay, so you're at the center of your heel. You're gonna yarn over you're going to insert your hook, you're going to grab your yarn, pull up a loop, you're going to insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through all three, or all four, and you've put your two, you've ha half double crocheted two stitches together, and then you're going to half double crochet the rest. And then you're going to chain one. And then you're going to half double crochet this way once, chain one, and half double crochet back. And then when you get to the second row at the end, I will show you what to do next. Okay, so you're on your um, second row of half double crochets and on your last. Um, stitch here. What you're going to do next is um, you can chain, what I do is I chain 13 and that gets me this um, with two button loops. You can chain more just so you can put more button loops um, however you want but let me show you how I do it and then you can change it if you want to. So I chain 13 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then I make a slip stitch into the fifth chain. Not your first, second, third, fourth, fifth. So you slip stitch into the fifth chain. Okay, and then you single crochet into the next one. And then I chain one, and then I skip a stitch so I can make my second buttonhole, and then I single crochet in the one after that. So I have, there's one buttonhole, and then there's the second buttonhole. And then I single crochet all the way to the, um, all the way around the shoe again. So single crochet all around. Okay, so once you've single crocheted all around your shoe, you just tie it off. And weave in your ends. And if you want, you can sew a button now or you can sew a button later. Now for the little strap that holds the flower on, you're gonna take your yarn and you're gonna leave a little bit of a tail so you can insert it through the shoe. To chain eight, leaving a tail. You're gonna chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
And here comes a little tricky part. You take your shoe and on your, what is this, your right shoe, you're going to count, you're going to count in four stitches. So <clears throat> my header's one, two, three, four and you're going to insert your hook make sure your yarn is in front right here insert your hook and you're gonna slip stitch it to the strap part here so it's attached and then you're gonna do a single crochet <clears throat> excuse me single crochet in the next um, stitch and then what you're going to do is you're going to turn your work like so. Okay, and now you're going to work down your chain here and you're going to make a half double crochet in the first chain that you made right here. Should be your very first one. And let's turn it here, it might be easier to see right here. So half double crochet. One. And then you're going to do another, another half double crochet in the next chain. And then you're going to do a single crochet in the next one. Single crochet in the next one. And then you're going to make one, two, three, four slip stitches in the last ones here. And you're going to cut off a, a little bit of yarn so you can weave it through your shoe. And this doesn't really have to be super perfect because your flower is going to cover it up. Unless you don't do a flower, you can do it just like that. That's totally fine. Okay, so your shoe's like this. Your baby's toe is over here. So you don't want to go in the center. You want to go to the one next to the center and you're going to take your straps or your tails you're going to pull it through like so and I'll show you how to weave in your ends on the bottom. Mine do show a little bit. They don't show a bunch but they do show a little bit. Okay now let me show you how to do the flower for the very top here. And that one's super simple. <clears throat> Again, you're going to take your yarn. Let's move this out of the way. I think it's kind of distracting. Okay, and you're going to... You're going to make a magic circle. And if you've never made a magic circle, it's super easy. There's some people that do it like wrapped around twice. I don't do that. I um, take my yarn like I'm going to do a slip stitch but I don't do a slip stitch. I hold it like this with a circle. I insert my hook. I grab my yarn. I pull up a loop. I grab my yarn and I make a slip stitch or a slip knot. I'm sorry. A slip knot. And then I'm going to do 10 single crochets inside my circle. So single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And now you take this little tail here and you just pull it. And then you insert your hook in the very first single crochet you made and you slip stitch it together. And you chain one. Now what you're going to do is you're going to do a series of stitches and stitches. Sorry. Ok, 
Okay, and you're going to chain one. And then what you're going to do is you're going to be working in the front loop only. So if I would say go into the stitch, you would usually go into both. This is your back one. This is the front one. We're going to be working in the front one. You're going to do a series of stitches in that front loop only. So you're going to do a single crochet in there. You're going to do three double crochets in there. One, two, three. You're going to do a single crochet in that same stitch. You're going to skip a stitch and you're going to work in the front loop of the following stitch and you're going to do it again. Single crochet, three double crochet, single crochet, skip a stitch, same thing. Single, three, DC, single. And you're going to do that and you're going to have five petals. Okay, so you've made your five petals. One, two, three, four, five. And you're going to slip stitch it into your very first one here. And you're going to chain three. One, two, three. And now what you're going to do is work in the back loops that we um, opted out not to use in the beginning and it's kind of got it's kind of hard to see hope you guys can see um you're gonna do a double crochet five triple crochets and a double crochet in that stitch so you're gonna start working in that back loop um you're gonna make a double crochet in the back loop And then you're going to do five triple crochets. And a triple crochet is yarn over twice, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. You're going to yarn over, pull through only two loops, yarn over, two loops, yarn over, and two loops. And you're going to do four more of those. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So that was a double. So one, two, three, four. One more triple crochet. And, and a double crochet. And then you're going to slip stitch to the um, skip stitch that we skipped. Sorry. And then you do the exact same thing. Ah! You're going to do the exact same thing in the next stitch. So, double crochet, five triple crochet, double crochet, slip stitch in the next stitch. In the next stitch, double, five triple, double and do that all the way around so you have five loops again or five petals. Okay, so you've done your one, two, three, four, five petals and you slip stitch it. And you're gonna leave a long tail or long enough tail to sew it on to the front of your shoe. So take your shoe, weave in all your ends, and um, attach your sh attach your flower. Let me show you how I do the bottom of my sole, because that's the one thing that <clears throat> people were asking for in my other video. So what I do is I take my yarn and I split it in half. And then, okay, so you're going to go through and you're going to find um, a yarn down there to go through. And you don't go through like a whole thick part. You just a um, very thin piece of yarn. And then I take it and I knot it. And then I, you can just leave it just a regular knot. But then I also do a double knot or like a big knot. Excuse my kids, even though I told them to be quiet they don't listen so 
And then what I do is I take it and I go in between. Okay. And then I go through in between the two soles somewhat. So you hide the yarn. I might have to work it a little bit. Come on. And then go back. Like that. And then I take it and I cut it. And it kind of hides it. So you're going to see like either a knot or a little bit of your yarn, but it's not so bad. So why don't you weave in your ends, attach your flower, attach your button. And then if you guys want maybe a little sparkle or something on there. And then we'll look at, um, oh, before I forget. <clears throat> to do your left shoe. Instead of starting on the inside like we did on this one, you're going to start on the outside and go through the two loops, but you're gonna start on the outside. So for the left shoe, you're gonna start on the outside, and for the right shoe, you're gonna start on the inside. So hopefully that helps out a little bit more, clarifies um, how you do both shoes. So let's weave in all our ends and let's look at our fancy new shoes when we're all done. Okay guys, there is your finished little booties. I hope you guys like them, make them, share them with me on Instagram and my Facebook page. Um, would love to hear your um, ideas and stuff for future ones. I'm still trying to do more crafts with my kids. So you guys with the children can also do some fun stuff with your kids this summer. <clears throat> so I'm trying to go in between of everything. I'm trying to do my best here to try to make all these sandals for you guys too that you've asked for. So um, just bear with me and I hope you guys like them, enjoy them, and I will see you.